So guys, 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 it is National Heart Health Day, and I'm coming to you live from GMA. Ain't, it ain't over. All dressed in red um, in honor of National Heart Health Day. Um, don't know if you guys are aware, but um, heart disease is one of the most dominant diseases in our society today. And so when I come to you with the videos that I put out uh, on health and keeping yourself alive, alert, and um, uplifted, I just want you to know that it has a deeper meaning for me because I have personally lost pretty much my whole family to heart disease. And so that also makes me prone to the disease as well. I recently, 2021, lost um, my dear sister, of course, um, my mother, my a father, my grandparents um, all passed away a really, really long time ago. But my sister, we, I nicknamed her Red from childhood. And so this Red is also in honor of my sister, to show honor to my sister, Valicia, who passed in 2021 of chronic heart disease. And so, you know, with that being said, I just want you guys to know that um, I am sincerely concerned for your health as well as mine. And um, yeah, so yeah, that is the reason or that's part of the reason for some of the videos. Um, say inspired, don't let the gravity pull you down. Your heart is the main muscle. Um, eating right and staying healthy can improve the quality of life. Um, yeah, and so that is the message that I just want to convey uh, today and always. So. so, yeah, moving right along. Also, February has another date that is coming around right around the corner that deals with the heart. And the um, the other, I guess if I have to say, you know, health issue that can weigh on the heart is that issue of love and how it affects the heart. I've recently spoken to quite a few of my newly found friends only to discover that a lot of you, quite a lot of you, are mourning love losses and you're spending like years to get back into the game and I can't tell you how much time to take to mourn but I can say that the whole time or all the time that you're spending um, to mourn the loss of a person is taking away, is being subtracted from the time that you really could find someone of quality or someone to match your personality. And I think, I mean, I have just come to the conclusion that a lot of times while we're saying we're depressed, we have allowed ego to step in the way and cause us to be depressed or cause us to not want to make another move because for some reason we feel like we are immune to some of the same things that the rest of the world is immune to. You know, how dare this person do that to me? I was a good person. I go to church. I spend money. I'm a hardworking man. I, I'm a good cook. I keep myself together. I wear only the finest perfume, you know. It's just all about me, 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 and who I am and how dare this person not love me. How dare this person find someone who they thought was better than me. Well, let me tell you what I think. What I think is that what we're dealing with here is human behavior. We're not dealing with 
so much what this person thought of us. We're thinking the person who does that, the person who cheats on us, is thinking of themselves and what they want. Unfortunately, we are the carriers of love. A human being is the vehicle in which we employ to carry that love that you know we put ourselves out there for. Uh, when we fall in love, we have to be in love with another human being. And unfortunately, human beings are subject to human behavior. Human behavior changes from time to time, from time to time. We feel one way and then another, another time um, we feel another way. And a lot of us are really good people who are not prepared for the, or what shall I call it, the temptation in life. A lot of times temptation catches people off guard. And I by no means am trying to give the cheaters a break. But then again, in order for us to give ourselves a break, we have to give other people a break. If we want to be forgiven for things, then we have to forgive. And when you carry around this burden of unforgiveness to um, the other person, it's just a weight on yourself. I mean, you can't go to certain places because you don't want to run into that person. Um, you can't move on in life because you've given all this power to that person in that situation. Um, it, it's a lot. <laughs> You know, it's just, it gets to be, the list goes on and on, and it just gets to be kind of ridiculous when you think about it. So, you really have to stop and think about what I'm telling you. A lot of times, um, it is not so much, it is not so much the actual act, it is us and our ego that won't allow us to experience this again. It's like, how dare someone hurt me? because I'm special. Well, guess what? All human beings are gonna experience some hurt sometimes, you know? That's just life. That's just hurt, you know? Um, who is it? Frankie Beverly made the song about joy and pain, or like sunshine and rain, you know? Um, I mean... I don't know, maybe that's not the best um, comparison, but I mean, you know, joy and pain are just a part of life, you know, and, and sunshine and rain are a part of life. So maybe that's what he meant, or they're the opposite of one another. Um, and so therefore, too, we don't want to, also the thing I want to mention is we don't want to fall into that category of a uh, human being that's out there saying, oh, love, I don't want nothing to do with love. I don't want anything to do with love because love hurts. You know, I've heard that said so many times, but I'm here to tell you, love does not hurt. It is the bullshit that hurts, you know? It's not the L word, it's the B and the S, and that's what hurts. It is human behavior also. Um, a lot of times people are just out there, you know, playing around with people's hearts, you know? I say to you, to those of you who really don't want love, you know, just be real with yourself and be real with the person that you're with. I mean, you never know. You might meet someone, you probably will run across it. Quite a lot of people out there that really don't want to have um, anything much to do with love anymore because, you know, love, as I say, love hurt them. But what they haven't come to realize is that, um, you know, love is like the first, it's like the number one. It hasn't gone out of style and it never will. And love, love, it never will. And love is not what hurts you. Uh, when a man steps to a woman or a woman steps to a man and says, I don't, you know, like we can see one another, but as far as like the love situation, love, I really don't want to use that term. What they really mean is I really don't want to obligate myself to be responsible, to be accountable 
to commit to this relationship, you know? And maybe they need more time or maybe they feel like they never ever will or they just don't wanna cross the paths of the same little irritants that got in the way of the last relationship, you know? That's pretty much what I think. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I just think get back in the game. Leave your heart open. Never close your heart to love. Um, if you feel you need a little time to play around, you know, which a lot of us do, if you need the freedom to decide or, you know, if you need that kind of time, take that kind of time. But if you are a person who truly wants love in your life, don't take too much time to grieve. Don't punish people going forward for what another person did to you. Don't hold out. Just keep on believing and keep moving. And just like the anti-gravity movement that we talk about all the time, just keep, you know, just keep it, keep it in motion. Just keep it moving, you know, keep it moving. Don't lay down. Don't lay down on love. I beg of you. You are worth it, guys. You are worth it. If there is something that you want out there in life, just same way you got that um that um career, you know, the same way you got that that job, you know, that whatever, that new whip, whatever it is that you achieved in life love is all about the same it's about the determination the uh, perseverance you know sticking to it and keep it moving and just don't let the sun go down on love and that's all I have for you guys today um as always push up push back defy that gravity with all you got to find that gravity. Gma, it ain't over. To my guys out there, again, I want to thank you guys for coming through and showing me all the love. And I know that a lot of you out there are looking for love. Um, quit looking for an angel. That is one of the things before I go. Quit looking for an angel. There are not angels. We are just human beings, you know. You know, just you, if you pinch us, you know, it hurts. We feel it, you know. That's it. Quit looking for an angel and just look for a woman. Just look for it for all you ladies out there. Knight in shining armors. Uh, yeah, we don't ride horses like that anymore, you know. So just look for a man. Just look for the one that matches you, that matches your swag, right? that fits your vibe, you know, whatever. I don't know, you know. Yeah, period. I love you guys. As always, I love you guys. You're worth it. You're worth every minute I spent trying to put all of this together and try to make it make sense to you. And I hope it made sense. Please like, please subscribe. Please share my videos, and if any one of you, whoever makes the first comment out there, I just want you to know that for me, you get a gold medal. You actually will touch my heart and make it smile. And peace out, peace and blessings. Happy, please, peace, blah, 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 blah. peace and blessings, and happy Friday.